Hi, Bill Parliament from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com, and this is episode 15 of the X's and O's of SEO. And today I'm going to talk to you about Google Analytics and the seven most important reports every small business owner should know and use. Google Analytics is a free web-based website tracking software program that easily allows you to track the results and effectiveness of your website uh, marketing campaigns. To get set up with Google Analytics, it's super easy. Go to Google, do a Google search for Google Analytics, and you can set up your free account there. So uh, let's get into the reports that I recommend. Now these seven reports are not all the reports that Google has to offer. But these are the ones I think you should really concentrate on and get to know the best. So the first thing that you'll notice when you log into your Google Analytics account is your traffic sources. Obviously, this is the amount of visits you're getting to your website uh, on a daily basis. And some of the things that you'll see there is you'll see the amount of unique visitors, meaning how many new people are coming to your website. So that's a good uh, way of tracking how many new people you're, you have coming to your site. Your returning visitors, so um, how much loyalty do you have to your website? Are people coming back time and time again? Um, referral sites. Now, referral sites is an important statistic because this, if, you, if you're using social media, this is a great way to see how many visitors you're getting from those other um, traffic sources like Facebook, uh, Google+, uh, Twitter, things like that. So you, this way you can track to see if your social media um, sites are working and of any other... Um, traffic sources that you're using, like press releases, things like that. And the other thing that you'll see is your top keywords. Google Analytics will display your top 10 keywords that are actually bringing traffic to your website. These are the keywords that people type into Google and land on your site for. The other report that you should be familiar with is your keyword report. Now, uh, Google Analytics, as I mentioned here, will show you your top 10 keyword reports keywords but in your keyword report you can expand that out to about the 500 top keywords that come to your site and this is a great report to look at because you can see what keywords are bringing you the most traffic um, I also think it's a great opportunity for some golden nugget keywords so if you're looking at your keyword report and you see a keyword that's bringing you some traffic but you're not ranking on the first page of Google for, and let's say you're on page two or three, if you're getting hits on your website from those keywords but your site's ranking on page two or three, that means that the people finding your site are really digging for information and that's a hot keyword. So if you find an opportunity like this, this is a great opportunity for you to create some content or improve the content that you have on the pages um, to get your site on the first page for that keyword and you'll improve the uh, traffic coming to your site. Another report you should be aware of is your website's bounce rate. Now what your bounce rate is is the amount of people who come to your website and leave your website either by hitting the back button on their browser or typing in another domain um, to get some more information. You want your, your visitors, when they come to your website, to land on your website and click onto other pages of your website. So that's your bounce rate. Now, there is no standard bounce rate. I get this question a lot. What's a good bounce rate? There is really no guide to that. Um, obviously, I would say if you have a bounce rate of 80% or higher, you want to improve that. But what you really want to do is see that bounce rate come down month and month and month. So uh, that's really important. That's one thing that you need to remember with your bounce rate. Um, and you can also measure your bounce rate by your home page. So your bounce rate on your home page, your deep pages. So let's say if someone lands on a, a secondary page on your website and you have a high bounce rate for that, um, you'll want to check your keywords that brought them to that page because perhaps they typed in a keyword, hit that page, and bounced off, there's, there's a disconnect there. So um, see what keywords are bringing into those pages that have the highest bounce rate and better optimize that content to keep people on the site longer or move them through the site. Another report you want to consider is your time on site. This means how long are people sticking on your site and basically tells Google, is your website usable? Is it easy to use? And do you have great content on that page? Obviously, the longer people stick on your website, the better content your site has. And it probably has usable content for those people uh, coming to your site. So that's going to mean more targeted traffic. Now, understand that time on site does not start until someone clicks through 
to another page. So if someone comes to your home page and stays there for a while, your time on site is not going to be measured. It's not until someone clicks on another page. So uh, improving your time on site is a good is a good thing to work on. And obviously uh, your bounce rate. So you want a lower bounce rate and you want more time on site. Another report you should take a look at is your exit page results report. And what this means is these are the top pages on your site where people are leaving. You want to take a look at those pages to see why are people leaving through um, those particular pages. Are they, are, is the content that you have on those pages not very good? Um, the keywords that they're landing on those pages, um, are they not targeted keywords to the content on your page? Is there some SEO opportunity where you can improve the content on those exit pages to get them moving to another page or maybe have a uh, call to action on those, page, on those pages so people are less likely to leave? So maybe take a look at your top five to ten exit pages and see what you can do to improve the content on those pages to keep people on there longer or clicking on to additional pages of your website. Uh, the sixth report that you should pay attention to, and this is a really important uh, report, are your goals. Um, your goals are really what, how you measure your conversion rates. And there are a bunch of ways that you can measure conversion rates with Google Analytics. So let's say you have an opt-in on your website and you want to measure the uh, conversion rate on your opt-in offer. So it would measure how many people come to your home page, enter their opt-in information, and then redirect to your thank you page. Once they hit that thank you page, they can measure the conversion. So you would have the goal code from Google Analytics on your thank you page. So let's say you have 100 people come to your website and 50 people hit the thank you page after opting in, then that's a 50% conversion rate. You can also set up goals for like your products. So people that come to your home page, click on your products page, go to your shopping cart, and then hit your thank you page. You can measure all that. So let's say if someone hits your home page and then goes to your products page, hits your shopping cart, but then you don't get a lot of people hitting your thank you page, maybe there's a problem on your shopping cart that people don't like. Maybe you need to add some additional trust items like um, secured um, credit card authorizations, uh, something like that. There could be some reason that people don't like your shopping cart page and they're, and they're leaving your site. So um, that's why you need to pay attention to these goals. Um, obviously, at, at a minimum, have your goals set up for your opt-in rate so you know how your opt-in rate is um, converting. And then finally, your top content. This is the pages that people visit the most. Um, take a look at the um, keywords that are bringing people to that page. Make sure that you have an excellent call to action on your top contact pages because obviously if a lot of people are hitting those top content pages, um, it's important content, so make sure you have a good call to action on those pages uh, or add additional clickable links to move people through your site to the places where you want them to go. So those are the seven top reports that I recommend for small business owners. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them at the bottom of this post. And as always, if you have any other additional questions that you would like me to answer in future episodes of the X's and O's of SEO, uh, leave those in the comment box as well. And this is Bill Parlin saying, now go dominate Google.